Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gravity Chow. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at what if Ray Gill get a 4D evolution. So I got this uh, recommended from a user in the comments. I don't remember your name, but I'll have a screenshot up right now. So yeah, we're going to be taking a look at uh, if this Beyblade got a 4D upgrade. I don't believe this Beyblade ever did get any upgrade, but it is very cool. It's one of, like, looks-wise, it's one of my favorite. So we're gonna get it, we're gonna give it a 4D upgrade in this video. Um, and of course, the original combo is Ray Gill, 100, I believe, and then right semi-flat. So let's give this an upgrade, starting with, you know, the basics. Like always, we're gonna be sticking with the same face bolt and energy ring. We do this every time. It what's make it's what makes the Beyblade the Beyblade that it is. So we're gonna keep it just the same. And for the fusion wheel, I went straight to the Big Bang fusion wheel. We're doing this because Ray Gill is originally supposed to be an attack type. And what better attack 4D wheel than the Big Bang wheel? Now we're going to be limiting this. We're only going to be using it in smash attack mode. Because this is the mode that would fit best with Ray Gill, I think. So yeah, we're going to be using the Big Bang fusion wheel. And of course our outer Big Bang energy ring layer. Now for our spin track, I debated between two options. I either debated between 85 or low wing 105. And I actually ended up going with low wing. Despite not really being an attack type uh, spin track, I believe that it will help out because for 85 sounds like a good spin, uh, spin track for an attack type because it's low. But the thing about this Beyblade is we're using the Big Bang Wheel. So it can't be too low because then the wings won't even be able to make contact with the other Beyblade. So we're going to give it a low wing 105. I could just go with 100 again or 105 or an upgrade, but we're going with low wing 105 because it fits the style of the Beyblade and pretty cool color matches the color scheme. So yeah, we're going with low wing 105. And for our spin track, we're going to be upgrading it to right rubber flat this is a pretty decent upgrade because rubber semi flat is a pretty good performance tip but if we're going all out attack we're going to want right rubber flat so let's put this Beyblade together all right and here we have big bang gill now this Beyblade is super pretty i think i really like the color scheme um the the ray face and energy ring colors go really well with the red Big Bang Outer Ring, and the silver, and then just the bottom being the same color. It's a really cool Beyblade. So we're going to put this Beyblade up against four different Beyblades, and yeah, let's get right into those. Our first matchup is going to be against Diablo Nemesis, the heaviest Beyblade. So we're going to be able to see if Big Bang Gill can knock out the heaviest Beyblade there is. Next, it's going to go up against Phantom Orion to see how well it can do against the best stamina type that has Bearing Drive. We're going to see if it'll be able to knock out before it gets outspun. And then we're going to go up against Flash Sagittario to see how it can deal with the height of the Beyblade. If that will affect it at all. And then, of course, the original combo. Different Facebook Ninja Ring like always, but yes, the original Ray Gill combo. All these matches are going to be first to two, so let's get right into it. Alright, our first matchup is Diablo Nemesis versus Big Bang Gill. Let it rip! Let it rip. And a quick knockout from Big Bang Gill. Moving on to the second round. Let it rip. Let it rip. Oh, and another big knockout from Big Bang Gill. He takes it 2-0. And for our next matchup, we have Phantom Orion versus Big Bang Gill. First to two. Let it rip. Let it rip. Big Bang Gill chasing him down. But it wasn't enough. And Big Bang Gill loses. Phantom Orion takes a first point. Let it rip. Let it rip. Oh, and Big Bang Gill with a double hit knockout. The score is 1 1. Let it rip. Let it rip. Almost had the knockout there, but not quite.
And it looks like Fanwo Ryan's going to take it 2-1. And for our third matchup, we have Flash Sagittario versus Big Bang Gill. Let it rip. Let it rip. Oh, and a quick knockout from Big Bang Gill. Let's go to round two. Let it rip. Let it rip. Wow, and another insanely fast knockout from Big Bang Gill. He takes it 2-0, just like that. And of course, for our final match, we have Ray Gill versus Big Bang Gill. Let it rip. Let it rip. Wow, and a flying knockout for Big Bang Gill there. Taking it. Scores 1-0. Let it rip. Let it rip. And another flying knockout. 2-0. That was quick. Let's do one more round just to be sure. Let it rip. Let it rip. Let's see. Big Bang Gill didn't get the knockout. And unfortunately, Ray Gill does have better stamina with a rubber semi-flat and it takes it. But overall, Big Bang Gill wins. All right, guys, so overall, Big Bang Gill definitely takes it against these Beyblades. This is such a powerful Beyblade. Most of these battles were it getting the win in one or two very strong attacks, either one huge smash attack or two consecutive smaller attacks to get the push out. So yeah, that was uh, what if Ray Gill got a 40 evolution. This is Big Bang Gill. Uh... Low Wing 105, Right Rubber Flat. Very cool Beyblade. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it or if I should have changed anything else. And maybe I'll make a follow-up video on your guys' comment suggestions. And if there's any uh, other evolutions you want to see, let me know in the comments so, and I'll get right to it. So yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And we got a Discord. Uh, link will be in the description and it's also on my bio page. So if you'd like to join that and hang out with other Beyblade fans, feel free to do so. We've got about 30 people in there right now, and we're always looking to grow. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.